Hi guys. How are you doing today? Anyone knows how to share a live stream from your computer to your Facebook group? Let me know so I can do it next time. I don't actually know how to do it. But I hope you're having a great Thursday evening. Thursday is usually my day where I have all my client calls. So I have all my client calls today, and I am super amped up because I love talking to them. Um, and one thing that has come up in one of my recent client calls is the issue when people are being asked to do things that they don't want to do, and then they're not getting paid for. So. Um, who I was talking to was someone who has just joined my new group coaching program, and so we had our first chat, and we literally completely transformed how she looks at herself and completely transformed how she stands in her power. And this is what I want to talk to you guys to, about tonight because I know that if someone I'm working with is dealing with it, you are probably dealing with it too. So if you are finding that people are coming up to you and asking you for help in things that are just really not your thing, like if you always find that you seem to get dragged into planning everyone else's trips for them, or you always seem to get dragged into having to help someone with, you know, all of their stuff, and you get home after it and you're like, why did I just spend the last five hours helping this other person when my entire life is in shambles, when I don't even know what I'm doing and I'm not making the money that I want to make or I'm not achieving the goals that I want and I'm so busy hopping around helping everyone else and I haven't yet helped myself, right? And so if that is something that you're currently dealing with, I want you to realize that, you know, the hard truth, the hard, cold hard fact is that if this keeps coming up for you, it's really easy to blame everyone else. It's really easy to say, oh yeah, my friends, they just, I'm always the one who, you know, I always show up and I'm always there and do that. It's easy to blame your friends and say, you know, they, they really need you and da da da. But at the end of the day, if this keeps happening for you, it is something that you are doing. Every single thing that's happening in your life, whether it's your business isn't growing, you're not seeing the clients you want, you are feeling confused, you're not achieving your goals, it's a hard truth to swallow, but if you're not seeing the results, it is because of what you are creating, what you are manifesting, and what you are focusing on. But that should make you really excited and give you a lot of power because now you know that when you shift your focus from the problem or you shift your focus from what's not working and you shift it to what you want to be working, that is where everything will change. So in this example, when people are always coming up to her, asking for things that are just not her zone of being, it's not the thing that she really wants to do, it's a really good idea to take a look at the types of conversations that are happening, right? So take a look at the types of conversations that are happening. So for example, if you want to be a life coach and you have done your certification on life coaching, you built a website about your life coaching, you know you can really, really help people, and you are just dying to get the perfect clients, but for some reason, everyone just seems to keep wanting to ask for your help with their website. And you're like, this is weird because all I want to do is be a life coach, but all my friends just keep asking me if I can help them with their website, right? And so you're like, okay, well, at the weekend, I'll also just come help you. It's fine, right? But think about the conversations that you're having. Have you stepped into your power yet as this life coach? Or are you, when you're spending time with your friends, you're spending time with people you know, are you just showing up and saying, oh yeah, I just launched my website. Oh yeah, I've been working on my website all weekend and it looks really good so I'm happy with it, right? Think about what you're saying and think about how you're positioning yourself because a lot of the times when things are coming to you, these opportunities are coming to you, it's because of how you're putting yourself out there. Right, And so if you want to start attracting clients as a life coach or as a mindset coach, how are you standing in your power? How are you showing up like that, right? How are the conversations that you're having being reflected back as if you are already that person? How are you showing up in your everyday life as if, like, ready to serve, ready to fulfill your purpose of, you know, helping people change their life and helping people overcome their obstacles? That should be, you know how you're showing up. That should be 
what people know you for, right? And so what people know you for is going to be reflective of the types of conversations that you're having. So really think about if you keep getting dragged into doing things that you don't really want to do, think about, okay, what can I be doing that's causing this? And take a good hard look at how you are showing up, how you are appearing, and I can assure you that you are creating it. And now that you have this power, now that you have this knowledge that you are creating these instances, you can switch your focus, you can switch how you show up, you can switch what the topic of conversation is, and then everything else that happens after that will change as well. Now, if you are feeling like people keep asking you to do things and they're not paying you, this is another example of the exact same thing. So, you know, sometimes we have a lot of issues around talking about money. And for what I'm going to share with you guys today, it's going to go a lot deeper than what I'm going to show you because you're going to have to do a lot of work on how you look at money, a lot of work on your perspective of money. But it's really important to think about how do I value myself? How do I value my time? How do I respect myself? Because if you don't value yourself or you don't respect yourself, then you can't really expect other people to respect or value your time as well, right? So it's really thinking about, okay, I have big goals. I have big things that I want to accomplish. So when everyone is trying to call me up and trying to get me to do all of their stuff without me first figuring out, okay, but have I, fig have I done all of my own stuff? That's you devaluing yourself and putting what everyone else needs in front of your own needs. You are actively doing that and that's why people are not respecting your time and not respecting your value. If you wanna shift that, this means that you need to set goals, you need to look at you know where you're putting your time during the day, how you're spending your time during the day. And it's as easy as, when you first wake up in the morning, is the first thing that you do, go on Instagram, check your email, check your Facebook, check what everyone else is doing before you think about your own goals and before you think about the thing that you need to accomplish because your actions are reflecting what's happening in your life. If the first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning is look at what everyone else is doing instead of what you need to do for, in order for you to get close to your goals, then it's no wonder that in your real life, Everyone is expecting that you put their goals in front of your own. So you need to take action first because that change has to come from the inside. And from on the inside, when you say, you know what? I want to accomplish big things. And I have a real purpose. And I am, you know, really, really good at what I do. And I really, really, really want to help people. If you know that you have real goals that you want to accomplish, big things that you want to accomplish, you know that you can make an impact on people, you know that you can help people, and you know that what you have to say is valuable, thanks for the hearts, um, then it's really, really important for you to, to put that into perspective and to put that into your real day. So wake up and think about what do I need to do, what are my goals, and when you write your to-do list, prioritize the things that are the most important to you first, right? And that's going to be reflection in everything, and you're going to realize that you stop getting dragged into things that you don't really want to do, and all of a sudden people start respecting your time. People start saying, oh, I know you're really busy, so you know it's okay if you can't do it, and, and all of a sudden the way that people see you shifts, and your confidence shifts, and the way that you show up shifts, right? So all these things are reflective. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, so if people keep asking you for stuff, asking you to do stuff that you don't want to do, or they don't want to pay you to do it, it's a good time for you to take a good hard look at what am I doing to contribute to this? What am I doing to create this, right? And when you look at everything that you're doing, you might see that you're creating it, but I want to remind you that your past has no um, bearing on your future. If you want to change the way that you show up and therefore change how people react to you or change how people respect you, you have that creativity. You have that power. You can do it. So do not limit yourself. Do not think this is just the way that I am. You can change it. And when you change from the inside, you change what you're doing. You'll see everything else around you change. So I'm Reese from Yes Supply. It was so great hanging out with you guys. If you have any questions, leave me a message here and I will answer them for you. And I hope you have an amazing evening and only take yes for now. Bye.